All right, that's interesting. You yeah. get trained. You were trained in London. No, no, in India itself. In India. Yeah. But you practice it there in London. Yeah. Brilliant. Wow. Very nice. Uh, anybody else? Yes. Yeah. May I have your name? My name is Subhas. I was a training in my company in Singapore for inventory management in a system called MOS. Okay. Uh, previously, when I was new in this company, I was not able to manage the inventory very well. Okay. So they sent me. There was a group of officers who sent to Singapore, and we got a training in MOS, and we got a lot of. We got. I got to learn a lot because yeah. in this company, it's a well managed system, and the crit, I, I used to maintain critical equipment yeah. uh, for the inventory. Yeah. Uh, so world over fleet, I used to. Ma I after that, I saw a dramatic change in myself. So I used I'm to sure. measure. I'm sure. Absolutely right. Anybody else? Yes. Sir, Shishu Jindal. Shishu. Yes, ma'am. Okay. Um, I got my training in the first company. <coughs> that, was, that was the management training. Okay. okay. Uh, from after that training, I uh, started looking at things from the company point of view, from a higher uh, from a higher uh, perspective. Absolutely. And uh, there was a lot of things which I thought from that point of view. Yes. And I give a simple example of solutions. And I. Uh, obsolescence. Uh, I started taking obsolescence very seriously. Yeah. Okay. And how to reduce it? Uh, I made a plan for that. Right. And that training itself helped me make the plan. Absolutely, bang on. All of you are absolutely correct. Uh, uh, you know, uh, till about few years ago, people used to think basically that only a technical training helps an organization. But any other, like she mentioned about the culture training or the management training, they can hardly be of help. I tell you what, I mean my experience says that in today's world when there is so much of stress around, the good tough targets for us to follow, when I say us, I mean to say the sales force, and for that matter, not even sales force, the person goes to the organization goals. That's very important. And absolutely say people feel that, I mean, uh, uh, can you think of any instance where you felt that you know you were just lagging behind and probably you're not up to date? Whereas there were certain colleagues in your corporate uh, area where they were just going ahead because they had that particular skill, but you don't have that particular skill, or you didn't have that particular skill. Did it ever happen to anyone? Yes, it happened. It happened with me also. There's something. Uh, uh, there is one. <coughs> technical thing that even at Spanish started by my fellow colleagues had an opportunity to learn and do it. I somehow because was busy with some behavioral sessions, I didn't have that kind of an opportunity. So and I started realizing actually that I was lacking there. And when you feel that you lack in some aspect, you feel that you lacking behind the competition. Yeah? So uh, there the training unit actually jumps into and fits into the picture very, very nicely. So training, learning and development is very, very crucial. Unfortunately, there are companies, though of course the number is decreasing now, they feel that it's more of a cost. But any good corporate you will see, they, they would say that training is an investment. So while you go, in fact this is my request, <coughs> when you go out and you get into manager roles or any kind of role that you get into corporates. Just ensure that you help your team members attend training. But of course before that, you need to think that where is the skill gap? You understand? So for example, that I uh, said, I will quit, but I will only quit once I pitch the policy to this person, this chartered accountant. At that one time, I picked up a premium of 50,000 rupees, 10 years ago. And I think that if somebody asked me, in fact, even when I was being hired at Standard Chartered Bank, so the then manager, when interviewed me, he said, tell me the happiest moment of your life. You know, when you tell, when you tell that you achieve, so there are lots of examples actually. I think I have done reasonably well in person. And, I mean, uh, I'm talking about, uh, I'm not talking about in terms of income or salary. I'm generally talking about, yes, there are certain achievements I've done in my life, sports and all. But I always mention that one too. Always. Because that is the time I was, I was absolutely disheartened. And in case I quit at that point of time, just <coughs> you know, sensitive and just by the and chut chut about the way, I won't have any here. 
and wouldn't have been liking the land that you were about to see that you gave to me. And I'm absolutely touched because I feel that uh, it's absolutely a very, very sweet gesture on low people, on low heads, and all of it is happening to all of you. I feel that this, now I really feel you made me feel actually today, Seema, you need to do much more. You need to do so much. There's so much of Calibre, so much of Calibre and people and you really need to further matter. There's no end to it. There's no end to it. But if you have determination, you have the power, you are all together changed personality, for sure. Nothing can hold you back. Nothing at all. Are you getting me? Because I can't say look. 